Morning folks and welcome to the Happy Hooker YouTube channel. This morning I've just launched out of Pefeli. I've got um, a little boat coming out with us. <coughs> We've got Naki Nathan and Swinging Steve. Uh, I'll show you on the camera after where they are. I know who they are, you seen them all last week anyway. Uh, I'm going to do two days down here. First day we're going out to uh, Barzi Island. Uh, we're fishing for some pollock and bass and other bits and bobs. And then tomorrow we're going to go on the on the reef again. See if we can get some more of them black beam. Hopefully we'll get some better sized ones this week. Um, I mean, it's absolutely stunning. These are the best weeks we've had all year, uh, weather-wise. Uh, I'm just going to go out to Yellow Boy and wait for them to launch. Uh, see if I can catch some mackerel. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, also on the boat with me is Mr. Stinky this morning. Hello, Stinky. <laughs> uh, I'll let you know and we'll catch you some mackerel in a minute. Might as well do a bit of fannying about while they're launching, Anna. See you in a bit. <coughs> First drop in, and I've got a mackerel. I think it's a mackerel going bloody berserk. Oh, it's a, sing it's a, single, a single donkey mackerel. Come here, little fly. Let me book it down. There it is. There we go. Oh, there's two of them. Not, not one, there's two. Then they come. So it's not a one donkey one, it's two half decent ones. Just get my bucket ready. Some cheeky bastard walking past me boat has thrown a bottle an empty beer box in it. I'll throw their shit away, eh? <laughs> That's not bad, is it? Plus a little dob. <laughs> Go on, <sinky. laughs> I don't know if you can see that. He absolutely loves my feeling. If I get a joy, I'll give it I'll give him one to uh, eat. Mind you, then he'll end up spewing all over my bleeding boat, won't he? That's usually what happens anyway. Um, I'm just going to keep mackerel bashing for a bit. See you in a minute. The <laughs> Narky Dave's just turned up and he's giving me a donut. Morning, Dave! Morning! <laughs> Morning, Steve! <laughs> you pair of twats. Uh, revenge is sweet, eh? <laughs> is it off to Barnsley now? Yeah. Right, I'll see you. I'll see you when we get to Barnsley, folks. We've just we've had a change of plan. We're not going over to uh, Barnsley. It got a bit snotty on the way there, so we've just pulled up on uh, on a secret mark. So I throw some lures about. And lo and behold, Alberti Bass. First chuck, uh, second chuck. Sorry. Let's get hold of him under his gill and unhook him. He's not big enough. Well, he is big enough for the pan, but I'm not going to keep him. What do you reckon, Nate? Is that a keeper or a...? Yeah, you'll get bigger. We'll get bigger. Nate guarantees me we're going to get bigger. So, while well, I'm making the balls of unhooking him. There we go. Get bloody tangled up in my line. Get hold of him properly. There we go. Got to try and get this triple hook out somehow now. Right down his bloody throat. He's slammed that. No messing about. And he just spiked me in the belly. Every time I bloody unhook him, it bloody hooks back in again. There we go. There we go, folks. One little Murty Bass. Happy with that. Going back. But what I'm going to do now is, because the dog has been eating mackerel and thrown up on my deck and I've studied it, I'm going to just switch you off and clean it all up. <laughs> Happy days! I'll let you see if we get some more. I've thrown the lures about a bit for the bass. Uh, <laughs> we've only got, only got the one. So I've just anchored up now. I've just dropped a bag of rice in. I'm about to drop in. One little piece of meat on a size one's hook. Uh, piece of mackerel, sorry. Let's see what happens. Hopefully. I'll not be waiting for I'll not be waiting for bites. That's first drop in. Let's see what happens. Bang, bang, bang. It's like they're already oh it's come off. That were in seconds that. 
but then we've got a bit left. Bang bang, one again. Missed it again. I've gone for a little change of tack this week. I've only put one hook on. Or should I say I'm being lazy, I've only put one hook on. But I'm thinking that bait's gone now. Might just have to uh, bring it up, put a fresh bit on. Big lump of weed. That always helps. And no bait. Try again. Ah, let's see if we can let's see if we can up one this time, eh? Little bro. I'm only in 16 foot of water here. Up on Sam Badrig. Bang 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 bang. Straight away, go on. Nope. They're either very small and I can't hook them. I think my bait's gone already. Could be a long day if it's like this all day, isn't it? Let's have a check. Do you get a two play mark? Yep, no bait again. Ouch. Cut a couple of these up there. Would you we to try a smaller bit. See if it is the, a case of the, the smaller fish. Where's my hook gone? There it is. We to try a smaller little bit. Single look it. Let's see what happens with that, eh? Bang, bang, bang. Come on, take it again. Yes, we'll have that one. We'll have that one. Oh, it's bloody come off. No, it hasn't. Let's have a look at you. Lovely. Ah, I know why I'm not hitting them, because they're a touch on the small side. But, if the small ones are here, the bigger ones will come. Hey. There we go. Could do some better ones, couldn't we? Beautiful. A happy, happy hooker. Uh, my piece of meat still all right. We'll just re-hook it. Once they go into a feeding, feeding frenzy, they, they usually, uh, the better ones usually come. They come nosy and what are all these little, little fart asses? looking at rap that's how quick they go on you bugger missed it and again they don't half give you a good old clang but I've got no bait on now I don't know ding 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 missed keep missing it I must still have some bait on because I'm still getting little tiny knocks. Nope. I might, I might go down an hook size just to see if that's the problem. Uh, we'll have no bait on there now. I will, uh, if the big ones turn up, I will put the camera back on. Now ah, that one feel, feels a little bit better. It did come off, has it? No, it doesn't, and it isn't any better. A little bit, maybe. In fact, that that one is that one's probably pack size. What did I say? The better ones will start to come in. Uh, I'm not going to save him. I want, I want better than that. I can bloody get hold of him. 
Now, right, pack it in, little shit. I'll show you these again. Look at that beautiful fish. All them spines all up his dorsal fin. All underneath. And spines in the in these fins as well. So top and bottom of it is to the spiny little get. <laughs> but they are excellent sport. In fact, I've still got a piece of it. I've still got some fish on. Fish on. Leave it be. Drop it back down. This is just, literally the second it hits the bottom, they're rapping at it. Come on, bing bong boo. I don't know if that bait came off then. Give it a little lift and a drop. If it's not wrapping, I've got no bait. Simple as that. Hang on. No, I think the bait's come off. Yep. No bait and a lump of crap. Just what you need. We are coming down to low. It's a small tide today. We're coming down to low. There's not much flow. But there's fish here and plenty of them. Watch this. I don't know if you can see, I'm going to try and get it so you can see the end of the rod. So I see that straight away, bang, 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 bang. Missed it. Just like little tiny thuds there, thud, thud, thud. And I bet I've got no bait now. I might, there we got that one. No, we didn't. Did we? If I did, it's a tiny one, it's not fighting. I'll catch one in a minute, folks. Ouch. Wonder if, uh, wonder if Nath's on uh, anything any better. I know Mike Stewart's out, Mike the Madman Stewart. He's out close by. I'll be talking to him on the radio. I'm going to ask him in a minute if he's been getting any, of what size. Missed. bait's gone. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, just as I thought. No bait. We'll put this down in a minute. Let's have a natter on the radio. Let's have a on the radio, see what's what. Mark, Mark, can you hear that? Jolly Bobbin. Jolly Bobbin, happy hooker. Uh, what are you catching bream there? I think Mark's had one. Uh, we've had a two peach as well. Oh, that's not bad. I'm, I'm I'm getting loads and loads of bream here, but they're only little ones. Aye, hopefully the big ones are over here then. <laughs> I think Nath, Nath just said he was getting them at five pound. It might be a slight exaggeration there. Eh? <laughs> Can you hear me, Nath? Yeah, I'm only winding you up, mate. <laughs> are you getting any? Yeah, we're catching bream here, and we've had some nice mackerel as well. Lovely. What size are your bream? About nine and a half. So keepers then? Yeah, they're keepers. Right, I'll persevere here for a bit longer. So they're catching keepers on that side, and they're not catching them on that side. But Mike's more of a, more of a fish for the top man. So we'll see. I shall persevere. Put some more bait on. Now, I just had a better one on, but uh, it snapped me. So I've had a little change of tactics. I've, I've stopped being lazy. I've put the two hooks back on like I had on last week. Uh, a lighter weight, a lighter lead, uh, on the size down on hooks. Uh, and it seems to be working. 
they seem to be able to take it in a bit better. Uh, I've gone up a poundage in line as well. Oh, you bugger. There we go. That one feels slightly bit better than what I have been getting. It's hard to judge on this rod because I've... Have I got two on? I've got a double header. <laughs> double header! And that one. Two, little bit, about two that are a little bit better. Those are probably just in size for the pan. Let's stop fl flapping about so much so I can get all the little shit. Put him against the boat. There we go. That's one of you got. Yep. I'm reckoning. That's big enough for the pan. But I'm out again tomorrow, so let me go. Because I've no means to. Uh, Keep it fresh till uh, tomorrow, especially with the sunshine and the heat the way it is. That's what we want, isn't it? What a nice little brain. They are good fun, then. So that was one on each bloody hook. Little, little bit of a double, uh, double hook up. Try and stop them from pinching the bait so easy. If I can't, there we go. And drop it back down. Yeah, I've changed I've changed from my, my spinning rod last week. On the little green one at the back of me. Um, I thought I'll use my pen regiment three, six to twelve inch, that feels a bit better. Um, if we do get some that are half decent sized. I need to keep a couple because we'll swap them with local chippy tonight for some tea. <laughs> Go to the chip. Oh, that's a bonnie and that. That's a clunker. We have a clunker. That's a lovely fish, that. Now that's a proper black bream. Now I'm afraid when I get him back, when I get him in, if I get him in, that is going in the bucket towards the Chinese. Here comes the dog, you won't want to be sniffing this one, pal. That's a clunker, that is. I think that's bigger than anything we had last week, that. That is a proper black brain. Right, pack in any little shit. All of them. Yeah, I don't think we even had any. Well, we might have had, actually. In fact, we did, didn't we? We had loads of them that size. But that is a proper, proper black brain. I did say, didn't I? Um, he set the little ones off into a feeding frenzy, and the bigger ones will come. So you, my friend, are in the bucket. Get water in with him to keep him fresh. Put him over there. I'll wait for that. Put some fresh bait on, and away we go again. <laughs> I'm just going to ask Nate if we've got enough for our uh, for our tea yet. Have you caught enough for our tea yet, Nath? He must be catching a fish, yeah? Not answering me. There was a young man from Wales who ate nothing but dead dogs and snails. When he couldn't get these, he ate the green cheese that he'd picked from his knob with his nails. <laughs> I don't even know if they're in radio shot. <laughs> no doubt I'll get a silly reply in a minute. These bream are coming thick and fast now. Um, I've only had the one clunker. <laughs> but like I said, what we'll do is we'll save them and swap them with the Chinese later for our supper. That's an easy way, isn't it? I've just dropped another bag of rice in. And that is a, that's a good, good fish. Can I get him in without... Uh, that's bigger than the last one I had, weren't it? Proper fish, then, aren't they? I know I'm being a bit of a fanny with them, but it bloody hurts when they spike you. Look at that bad boy. Oops, that was out smashing all to bits, doesn't it? 
So you are in the supper pot. In fact, you are. It is bigger than the last one. <laughs> I can see a lot of sweet and sour chicken coming on. Right, guys. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Getting two two at a time now, and they're all they're all better ones and all. They're all a better stamp now. The small ones seem to have buggered off, and the better ones seem to have moved in. So that's going towards my supper. The when I finish smashing all my balls and my rods and go have your little shit. Ouch. You're not a proper fisherman unless you get spiked off a of fish and feathers and hooks and everything else. Beautiful size bream them. Little fat chunky things. We're happy with that. I think what have I got there now? I've probably got half a dozen eight keepers. So I think that should pay for me supper, shouldn't it? <laughs> I'll have all the other little video and see, see how much supper I get for, for uh, whatever bream I've got. <laughs> Hopefully a big pile full. This one feels like a right bloody clonker. It's either... Oh, Jesus Christ. It's either a whopper. Which it is, actually. They don't half go some these for the size, don't they? Look at that, that's a beauty, that. We'll be getting a lot of small ones, Simon, so we're going to make a move, see if they're any better over by you. Look at the size of that, guys. That's a buzz of that. Those are proper, proper black bream. Absolute clunkers. I don't think I've had one that big before. I think those are my personal bests. Um, what did I say? Get the small ones feeding, the big ones come. Always. I'll, uh, next time I do a bag of rice, I will show you how I've done it again. Um, just because a couple of people have asked me, they, they didn't quite get it. So I, I will do, I'll go in a bit more detail and do it again in a bit. Let's see if we can catch some more fish. Mike Stewart's just appeared. Good morning, Mike. They were feeling rather ugly on that other spot, so they've come over here to see if they can uh, jump on some of these. I don't know if he's got any rice for them. Have you got any rice for you, Mike? I don't know if he can hear me or not. I'll sort this out off camera. I'm thinking, guys, this is uh, another decent fish. Oh, it is. Another one, another clonker. There we go. Not quite as big as them other ones, but it'll do. Bloody swallowed it, little shit. Yeah, just a half shove of it, we told you. There we go. There we go. There we go, guys. And another one. <laughs> you don't get better than this, does it? Right, guys. I've got a visitor. <laughs> Talk about a bit of fish poaching, huh? <laughs> Hi, Mike. <laughs> hey, I was here first. Hey, <laughs> Have you heard this, huh? <laughs> Did anybody ever see a boat inside of me on camera? <laughs> oh, all's low, all's fur in love and fishing, eh? As <laughs> <laughs> it do the same for me, I'm pretty sure. Huh? <laughs> see you in a bit. Any nice, sir? Or platter than that. That is absolutely stunning. And the wonder why I like being out here so much. It's just peaceful, heaven, tranquility. All on me old. Just keep an eye on where I'm going. Uh, we're moving off now. I've caught loads of black bream. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not sick of home by any stretch of the imagination, but I won't go try for some bass and I might try for a top later on. We'll see. I'm feeling really tired actually. Uh, I think I set off driving at about one o'clock last night and then I got an hour's kit when I got here, so I'm knackered. <laughs> Mike Stewart's over here in the distance. Providing it's not too shallow, I'm gonna go and give him a donut. <laughs> just, just to 
muito doido. Absolutely mad, listen to him screaming at me in a minute. You want one of these donuts? He's gonna go fucking berserk, can't be? He won't be happy. I'll go give him his bucket and wear the bucket off me. I can't get my camera off. You want another door, not? Yeah, I've come to give you this bucket. I'll see you in a bit, folks. I can see what's coming here now. I'm getting I'm a big work here. He hit me like then with his propeller. <laughs> Moved on the way to Bardsley Island, so that's where we're headed. We're going to go and finish the day off there. Uh, I'm going to get underway. Are you ready to rock and roll? Yeah. I'm going to see if I can get, uh, get Nate on the drive-by. If my boat will work. Still won't be. It'll help if I slow down the tap, won't it? Alright, where is he now? Miles away. So, here comes. Narky Nate. If he can catch me up. <laughs> And uh, a swinging Steve. Or Steve the Swinger, whichever one you want to call it. <coughs> Absolutely stunning, beautiful scenery all around here. It's promised me I'm going to catch a load of big pollock. Uh, a lot of big callies and maybe some cod. Where the bloody hell is he? Do you think I better stop and let him get past? Yeah. That's undo you. Come on, Nath. Let's have a drive by. What's he doing? I don't think he's even set off, has he? Oh yeah, he's on the move now. We've got a bucket full of the black bream, ready for my ready for my uh, exchange with the Chinese chippy for our tea. <laughs> Spur ribs. <laughs> Sweet and sour pork, egg fried rice, sweet chilli, crushed whatever. Just lots and lots and lots of food. You don't get a fine figure like mine, not making a pig of yourself. What do you think, Stinky? Yes, he's agreeing. Where is he now? Here we go. He's got a lovely little setup there. And it's fast enough. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit on him. But let me. That won't let me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I better catch him up, Anna. <laughs> see you in a minute when we're fishing. Let's see if I can get a full side on view of them while they're driving. I'll catch up to the side of them now. What am 
ladder in uh, 25s, lumpy enough. I might have to do a little bit more, 27. I'm catching him now. We'll throttle down a bit more, a little bit lumpy, but we'll get there now. We'll get right close into him. That's 31 mile an hour. Come out of the water then, didn't it? I'll just I'll slow us down a bit. Put my camera back. Switch you up. Hello now, I've just dropped a set of feathers down and uh someone's going berserk. I don't imagine it being too big because it's only a light rod, but good fun all the same. As soon as it hit bottom, bang. Let's see what it is when it comes up. Dragged me in a snag to start with. It's a big ras. Yeah. <laughs> I've watched the date, a good ras as well. Oh, that bugger. Nice. Yeah. There you go, folks. Look at that for a beautiful looking fish. Now, these are another bugger to handle. We'll give it the Vulcan dress grip underneath. Look at that, folks. Absolutely stunning, beautiful. Right down it goes. <laughs> That's what we like to see. Fish coming. Fish number two. Is it? Look at shit. It's a family. It's a couple of family little tiny pollock. <laughs> that doesn't look nice at the back of me, does it? Shot or not. Look at them. Lovely little live bait sizes, them aren't they? We want big broad sister now, don't we? Just hit another fish, this feels like an half decent one. It's going some. Just gonna keep an eye on that rock at the side of me, make sure I'm uh, Drifting away from it and not at it. That feels like a good fish. It's a, it's a pair of pollock. A pair of pollock on the pollock killing feathers. Not very easy, sir. Nothing massive. Like I said, I'm on the light rod, so. Makes everything look like it's ten times bigger. The happy Oka does it again! Right, now we want your big brothers and sisters. <laughs> yeah, I do like this kind of type of fishing. Uh, the aim is turbot. But got a tur so I set a turbot rig up, put a big slither of uh, mackerel on. And the torque come up and grabbed it. So the mackerel I've cut the turbot out, the slither out of, I thought I sod it. I went up a bit bigger on my uh, hook and my line and let it drift along with us. And uh, I'm thinking we're into a turbot. Not a turbot, I'm thinking I'm into a torque. I'm into summer. It's not going berserk. Well, not yet, anyway. And I'm only on my bloody 612 rod running at me. Oh, it's come off. No, no, it's still there. Still there. So I'm on a 612 rod with a, I, I, I suspect it's a torp. I don't think it's a very big one, but a torp all the same. <laughs> this is how we do it. You know, so it could be a bullos this, it's uh, not scrapping or anything, it's just pulling up. I'll let you know in a minute when I see it. When I see the bloody thing. I hope it's not a bullos, I can't stand them. This rod's 
It's not designed for this. Just tighten that clutch a touch more. It's handling it up to yet. If it goes bang and snap, promise that nobody will laugh. Come on, the bleeding boat. Let's have a look what you are. What are you? What's a topy top? It's a topy! Do some head shaking now. Up he comes. We've got 15, 20. Only a babby. Now. It looks like it's all the bloody up as well. Do some head shaking. I won't be coming too close to this stinky. Let's get that uh, weight off. I haven't set my clutch. And it's going to go mad. Don't do it. Don't want to smack on the head off that. On that. Right, must be, uh, must be having a look at it, eh? Bloody line wrapped around my head. Oh, we've got you. We've got him. Get my foot on there. Stop it, you little shit. Hold the nose. Have a look where that hook is. Yeah, it's a bit on. It's a bit on the the way down side. Ouch. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to snip that and let him go. Try and get it. We will have a go. But anyone that's de dealt with any talk before knows what the teeth are like on them. You don't need to be shoving your hands down the throats. Tell you what, it's all a bit. Where's the snippers? Snippers are there. Snip the line. That's not for you, buddy. Yeah, look down the way. Hold him up for your forks, and then back he goes. Oh. There you go. One top. Happy. I And he kicked straight up. Looks like I'm putting a new hook on, doesn't it, guys? Hee <laughs> hee. High five to myself. Yee. See if we can get another. Day one down at Pafeli, we've got um, Nate and Steve here, um, we've swapped all the black, well not all the black green we have, but a, a, good, a good portion, all the better ones, we went to Chinese with it, I swapped it for our supper, <laughs> can't grumble at that can you, <laughs> in the morning Andy Samson's coming with his boat as well, uh, there's another lad coming down, or he said he was coming down, he's not rang me and I've tried ringing him and he's not answering, so we will say, don't let us down Martin Law, do you know who you are? <laughs> I'll see you in the morning guys. Uh, day number two, it's about six o'clock, Andy Sampson and Alan have uh, arrived morning. Morning, with the warrior. Nathan and Stevie boy, are you there up and uh, pottering about? Morning. 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 Everyone slept well as far as I'm aware, even the dog. Um, let's get out on that reef and see what we can catch. Yes, thank you. Oh, look at this. What a lad. Nice cup of tea first thing in the morning. Um, let's get up, let's get out, let's see what we can catch. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, do some more filming when we get on the water. How much battery I got? Oh shit. Over here at Pafeli, one thing that is very, very handy is there's uh, a petrol pump uh, station just out of where you launch. Um, now it is £1.80 a litre and it is only E10, which I don't like running through my engine because of the uh, complications. If it was to leave that engine now, sat for a month, maybe two months, uh, it starts to rot all the inside. Um, 
all the pipes and the cables and stuff inside your engine so but as an emergency uh, once in a blue moon e10 will do it no harm whatsoever uh, but and it's convenient uh, i've launched this morning without having to go to a petrol station fill back up again because i did a lot of mileage yesterday and used it all up simple as um, just thought i'd uh, let you know that so if ever you're down here and you need petrol and you can't be asked going to the petrol station this is where you come £1.80 a litre, lovely. We're about 14 mile out. No, we're not, I'm telling lies. We're about nine mile out. Uh, couldn't get any mackerel close in near the yellow boy where we normally get them, so there's a sandbank further out we've come on. Soon, oh, you bugger, as soon as I've dropped in, fresh mackerel. That'll do, that'll do, donkey, that'll do. <laughs> Happy days, oh, bollocks. First fish of the day, big tangle, away we go, happy hooking. I tell you what, I absolutely love this mackerel bashing, they're good sport them. Look at that. That's a nice one. I don't think I've got one or a couple on here. They seem a bit better out here, don't they? Yeah. Oh, two, two donkeys we've got. In fact, that first one is a donkey. Look at that size of that bugger. That's what we call mackerel fishing, guys. Look at that, lovely. That's one, that's a nice one for the pan, that. The rest are getting used for uh, bream baits and other such things and tote baits. I'm gonna do a little bit of tote fishing today, guys. While I'm fishing for the bream, I'm gonna have uh, a tote trace out as well, I think. Oh, we're in. How easy is that? Hook a duck. <laughs> I tell you what, unlike gear, these smaller fish don't half go like the clappers. I feel sorry for all these fucking uh, coarse anglers, me. Now we're a coarse fisherman for years and years and years. And you don't get anything, but full swing. <laughs> you don't get anything that fights like the smallest fish in the sea, coarse fishing. Nothing at all. Even the barbel are put to shame. Pound for pound, sea fishing, well, most fish in the sea, go we'll like the clappers. I don't know how much, uh, ow, I don't know how much battery I've got left. So, so I better switch off and uh, save some film, aren't I? Well folks, uh, the fishing's a little bit slow this morning, I have had some bream, uh, nothing to shout about, about half a dozen of them. Uh, we bagged up on mackerel earlier for the bait, uh, so in the meantime, it's baker butty time! I've just moved I've just moved marks now, put a bit of rubby dubby down and uh, I'm going to have my butty and then try fishing on it. See how we get on, hopefully a little bit of a move, I've only moved about 200 yards, but I've moved a bit further up the reef so we will see. Hopefully, that'll be the uh, start of the good fishing. See you shortly. Right, folks. Well, the little move seems to have paid off. Um, I'm getting a fish pretty much instantly every time I drop it down now. Watch how quick this goes. Little drop off the back of the boat. Bang, straight away. Missed it. Missed it again. There we go. Same as yesterday. They're, uh, they're half decent size, but they're not quite pan size. I've had, I've had. In fact, that one is a pan size one. There we go. Had a couple foot pan already. Ouch! Fucking stabbed me. Stop it. Right. That one's legal size. So in the pan it goes. Easy as that. Fresh bait on now. And back out it goes. Last of the way. I'll soon fill them neighbour orders up, won't I? Yes, the minute they vet them, they're all my me now. Can you get me some more? Can you get me some more? Can you get me some more? So that's the aim for today. I'm gonna to try and fill that bucket to the brim. 
and um, I get my neighbours some more fish. See you in a bit, folks. See, these lads have just dropped straight onto my mark now where I've left. So, just for the inconvenience, I'm going to go and give them a quick donut. <laughs> they're, not, they're not suspecting this. Oh guys, this is what a donut does look. <laughs> See you later guys! <laughs> right guys, that's the end of my day's fishing today. Uh, it is now 1 o'clock, I've had enough. Uh, I've got a big bucket full of bream which I'm going to gut on my way back in. Um, but I had an absolute cracking two days. I'm tired now, I'm going to get back in, uh, get the boat hitched up and I might get home before midnight. Hopefully it's a little bit of daylight so we can get this boat cleaned out. It needs sterilising, it's that filthy. So, unless I do anything else significant, that's the end of the day. Oh, don't forget, get them fingers waggling, press that subscribe button please. Ta-da for now.